fellow caregivers and thank you for joining us today if this is your first time of coming here i want to say thank you for joining us go back to our previous lessons so that you can learn from what we have been discussing in the course of the month we'll be talking about service i know where you are you are serving and maybe some of you are tired of serving and all of that but don't worry go back to our previous video and follow us all the time for you to be empowered and be blessed before we continue shall we bow down our head and pray almighty father we thank you we give you all the glory lord because you're god we are alive today because you kept us and we are grateful lord as we continue with our service today bless us oh god minister to us oh god don't let us remain the same thank you holy spirit in jesus name we have prayed amen before we continue let's join the praise team and worship the lord hallelujah you're welcome to church this morning as we worship together in the presence of the lord with a joyful heart
and welcome back. I hope you danced and praised God. Some, some may be thinking, why should I dance? Why should I praise God? In everything, I don't know what you're going to right now, but in everything the Bible says that we should give thanks. Today we're going to talk about persistence in service. As caregivers, you are in the business of serving. I know you may be wondering, for how long am I going to do this? What do you mean by persistence? Persistence means continue what you're doing, despite the difficulties, despite the challenges. Some of us where we are working, you've tried all your best to please the people you are working with, and you just don't, you're not getting it. And sometimes you wonder, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm the problem. And you want to quit. But think about it in the first place. Why are you doing what you're doing? We've had courses where people say, oh, I'm doing this work so that I can raise money to go back to school. I'm doing this work so that I can raise money to go into business. How much of it have you made that you want to quit now? <laughs> It's a service. The Bible says that when you're serving your employer, you do it as unto the Lord. It doesn't matter how they treat you. I'm not saying that when there's abuse, you should keep quiet. But there will always be challenges. That takes me to a story in the Bible. There was a man, Jacob. He ran from home. <laughs> that means the home is not palatable. It was difficult from home. Things were at home were they're like, okay, you had a fight with his brother and the mother was like, this man is so angry, he may end up killing you. So he had to run away. I know some of you, going back home is not an option. In our previous video, we had a lady, the uh, Chef Lizzie. It, she talked about her experience that sometimes when she talked about it, like, should I go back home? She would look at it. And <laughs> going back home, what they do is 001 or 1000. So home is not even a place to go back to. But she believed that, no, I have a place, I have a target, I have a purpose, and she continued. And because in the course of our service, she, she had to change houses. But at the end of the day, she came out being a victorious woman. And we can talk about her today. Jacob had difficulty going back home. So he went to his uncle, Laban. When he got this, I serving Laban, I'm going to serve. And he found the younger daughter of Laban. And this woman is so beautiful. I want to marry this woman. And he said, eh, you want to marry my daughter? No problem. You have to serve me for seven years. Seven years, he continued. And he was serving. He has a purpose. That's a good, I want to marry this girl. I'm working. Maybe they are paying him salary, the Bible didn't tell us <laughs> what wages he was collecting. But he kept on doing it. It's not easy to serve. He's not able to do house chores. But he, he was a shepherd, taking the, the sheep all around and all of that. After seven years, <laughs> it was time to enjoy, relax, and get everything. They gave him a wife. But in the morning, lo and behold, it wasn't what he bargained for. They gave him somebody else. He did not say that. Ah, seven years. I have to do another seven years. No, I'm okay. Let me just manage this. He said he will serve again for another seven years. What are you going through? Maybe you have been treated like Jacob. That you were promised something. About the time, it's time for your employer to fulfill their own side of the but again, they change it for you. We had a lady early this year in my class. The lady said she has been working she was, since she was nine years. All her money, she was keeping it with the madam. When she gave testimony in January that, I'm so happy she's 23. She was 23 at that January that, I'm not going to do caregiver's work again. I'm going to set up my home. I've learned dancing. I've learned makeup. That I had a lot of money that I've saved up. And I asked, how much money have you saved? I was thinking maybe it's 500. And she said, I think one point something million or two million. 
that wow, that was impressive. I use that as an example to explain to others that hey, you are doing your work. In fact, she didn't have phone. She the only thing she buys for her money is just on this. She manages everything that just helped me keep this money and all of that. I said, we're going to future you know, Caregivers Day. I told all my teachers, see this wonderful thing. That, how many of us that even working can save up to this? A month after, she came. I noticed she was down. What happened to you? She was crying. I wept. The money she was relying on to work on. They said, <laughs> her auntie sent that they needed money at home. And they sent the money home. And they were helping her to save the money. They spent all the money she had been working for. Just pathetic. I felt so bad. Give me your madam's number. I want to take it up and all of that. But it depends on the... She said, no, my madam is a good person. It's from home. She's not a Nigerian. She had no father. The mother left her when she was young. What will you do? She didn't know anything at that time. But she came back again and said, Auntie, I, I made up my mind that I've gone back to my madam to start again. That now I've learned something. I'm not going to open your account by yourself. So as you are collecting your salary, you put it in your account. That is what persistence is all about. Yes, it is difficult. It is very, very difficult. It was a sad experience. But she said that because this had happened to me, let me just go into prostitution. Or maybe I should just hurt people around me. This lady, when you see her, she's always happy. Sometimes I just look at her, what kind of energy do you have? That's God's grace. They did the same thing to Jacob. Jacob was heartbroken, but he went back and sat. And after the 14 years, they gave him the wife. Even after that, that okay, I'm going. Would you let me go? What are you going to give me? The boss said, and um, okay, this is what we're going to do. I will give you sheep, but you will take the animals that has that are speckled, that don't have uniform colors. So he said, okay, no problem. I'll do that. You know what this man did? All the animals that knows that he separated them, moved them far away so that there would be chances for him to even have any speckled animal. But he did not stop serving. He continued, it was one of his dreams that God showed him a vision. This is how you're going to do it. Just put a tree when those animals are meeting. By the time they are bringing forth offspring, they will have speckled. And that was how God blessed him. You may be going through some things and wondering, maybe I should cut corners. People are stealing. Maybe I should do that. Because this man, this woman will cheat me. No, God showed forth for Jacob. And he had plenty. He eventually left with many children, with his wife, and a lot of assets. Even when he was going, the boss was still jealous of him, pursued him, but couldn't do anything to him. If you are persistent in doing good, God is with you. No matter the difficulty, no matter the challenges, God will vindicate you and he will compensate you. If you listen to me today and you are about giving up, that who oh, this help, this goodness, <laughs> what has it done to me? Some people will say, I bet who that one help? God is watching you. And he wants you to continue doing good. Continue asking God for what you want. There was a woman in the Bible. That Jesus said she was asking for something from an injustice. I mean, he was asking for something from a judge. And the judge was like, I'm busy. Leave me. But the woman kept on asking. She did not leave. Please avenge me. What belongs to me, take it from me. And all of that. And by the time you just get tired, what is it with this woman? Okay, give her what she wants. I will have to avenge this woman. I will have to give her what she wanted so that she can allow me to have peace. Whatever you're asking for, continue asking. God is always willing to answer you. 
God is not like that unjust judge. So imagine if an unbeliever, an unjust judge, could give a woman what she wanted because of her persistence. How much more our Father, who loves us so much, and he said that he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. So what can man do to you? No matter what, continue to trust God. Sometimes it's difficult if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Today is another opportunity. If you would like to give your life to Christ today, can you just bow down your head wherever you are and say this after me? Lord Jesus, I know that you are the one that can save me. I know that I'm a sinner. I cannot help myself. Forgive me my sin, Lord Jesus. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And congratulations for making that decision. God is with you and he will help you to persist in doing good. And he will definitely reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we go, let us open our Bible to Psalm 100 verse 2. That is where our memory verse is taken from. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Psalm 100 verse 2. Serve the Lord with gladness. Wherever you find yourself, serve as you're doing it unto the Lord, not to man. God is the rewarder of those who diligently serve him. Every human being is an extension of God. So serve as you're serving the Lord. The Lord help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you and have a wonderful day.